Oh, but yeah. she needs to call out her, her colleagues who are Democrats, once again. She needs to call them out, and they need to take a stand. Not tomorrow, yeah. but today. They need to have some action Let's... and say something for these people who are voiceless. They really yeah. them uh, Let's go to Ron. Ron has a question or comment. Um, tell me, are, are you all um, Bill Shuby PR person? No, we're not. We're engaging in, we're not, listen, we're engaging and I understand your sarcasm uh, there, but we're engaging in nonpartisan, deeper analysis, irrespective of whoever takes the falls here. That's what we're doing. You know what? You know what? I, I don't think Bill Sudi deserves a standing ovation. And that's where it is. You, you. No, we, we, no, we, no we, we're calling, we calling, we're telling things like it is. We would not, we would not, we would not apologize for democratic or make room for democratic incompetence here. Let me, let me make that point. Sure, go ahead. Bill Shooty, oh, the only thing Bill Shooty has done, yeah, he can, he, he did come out, but it's like throwing a rock. I mean, he, he, I mean, he, he, has, he hasn't gone after, he hasn't gone after Snyder. He hasn't, he hasn't, um, you know, I mean, he, he hasn't really gone after him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he came out and, and made, and made a, 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 public, a public statement, you know, so I, I, I can understand he's doing this. But well, he's investigating Flynn, right? right? He's uh, prosecuting. He's prosecuting uh, the the alleged culprits in the Flint water crisis, right? Yeah, but, you know the some team, some of the alleged culprits. If I can qualify it that way. He was just, he was endorsed by Donald Trump. Donald Trump hasn't 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 done anything. Hasn't done anything either. Donald Trump isn't running for governor. Donald Trump is not running for governor. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to take too much airspace here on Donald Trump. He ain't running for government. Hey, look, your comments, are they going to put one bottle of water in, in one hand in Flint, one black hand, one poor person's hand in Flint, Michigan? We can't get lost in, in that whole thing about can't see the forest for the trees. We know the politics of the Republicans hasn't been in our best interest. We know Bill Schuette is a, is a Trumpite, but the reality is that the people of Flint need help right now. And it's a good thing that Bill uh, Schuette did when he basically called out his own governor, a member of his own party. And I'm not going to sit back and nitpick when, when people are hungry and thirsty in Flint and, they're, and, they're, and their hot water heaters have sediment that may cause Legionnaire's disease as the temperature heats up. Right, yeah. and thankfully we're talking about the people that who say that they're for the people, by the people. We're talking about so uh, we're talking about candidates who are saying, I am going to make a difference if you vote for me. I, we're saying that those same folks have not shown any uh, excitement or any need or to go out and speak on behalf of these individuals who are in Flint. The yeah. same people who are asking for our vote, same people who have talking points, talking about we're going to make sure health care is fine, transportation, all these things they have not shown up as yet to talk to us about how they're going to make an impact on what is happening in Flint. That's what we're talking about. This is not about party. This is about the people that live in Flint that don't have a voice and people who claim that they're going to be a voice for those individuals and they have to be Because, because, you know, Flint is an expendable city. You know, high liberal champion donors don't live in Flint. No. High, you know, uh, right-wing donors don't live in Flint. You know, they, 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 who's who in America, who's who in Michigan don't live in Flint. So Flint is easily expendable. And that's the way, you know, when you're expendable, you don't have, you don't have a, a cell phone to Gretchen Whitman. You don't have a cell phone to Abdul al You don't have a cell phone to Bill Cobb or Sri Tanida or to Bill Shudi. You don't have a cell phone to the governor. You're expendable. So, but if you do have access, then power responds that way. And that is basically how Flint, Flint is being treated like an orphanage. Well, you know, Banker Lake, quite frankly, what has happened is that human life in Flint has been devalued. That's what got us in this situation in the first place. Right. A being counting mentality that put dollars and profits over human life got all those folks in Flint poisoned. And now the same being counting m- mentality exhibited by this lying Snyder administration is being used to deprive citizens of simply free follow water because no one trusts the water and the water is bad so let, 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 let me read let me, okay. let me read a line from the story here about bill shooty coming right behind us after we talked about this issue the lack of political response here this is what bill shooty's uh, uh spokesperson tells the free press uh she wouldn't speculate on whether shooty might initiate or support legal action to require continued free distribution of bottled water by the state now, if he moves that way, that's a free 
compelling public service that he would be doing. But Gretchen Whitman could have done it. Absolutely. And anyone running for office Absolutely. could have gone in the court. Well, Democrats are fools. Right. Now, right. The thing about it, they, they're not even playing by a real playbook. This is like, if you were going to be a real slick politician and you're running for office, you would figure out what is on the hearts and minds of individuals right now. What could move uh, of a needle in terms of my responsibility, my visibility, in terms of me being a candidate? Can you imagine if you had been, if someone on Friday, a Democrat, had said, I am in Flint now, I am trying to find out what the situation yeah. is, and I am trying to make a difference? That is a wise politician. That so, is watch, a wise so, so watch, let's watch this. Bill should okay. might initiate legal action, a lawsuit that's going to drive past November, mm -hmm. demanding, it's possibly in federal court, demanding that in fact the state continues to uh, uh, provide free bottle water. And you know, it isn't just... And there is no public service announcement, public service greater than that if he does that. I mean, of course, it's a political reason, but... Right, he might have ulterior motives in terms of, we know that, remember, that that is connected to votes. No, he gets of course, it. Of and of and I'm, I'm, I'm dismayed again. And the Democrats did not get back. Well, they never... Run for office and win. Look at 216. Huh. Yeah. Scary, scary. And then we need to be on, and I want to say this before I finish. Right. We need to be on bottle of water. The, our Democrats, or the people who are running for office, need to be looking at, yes, making sure that they have bottled water. But we need to be looking at the bigger picture down the line. Don't leave them after November. The people that are in Flint, don't leave them. Right. Say, we're not going to be delivering bottled water in 219. You can't really wash anything with that bottled no water. Way. But no they're way. stuck with the bottled water. Yes. And the big issue yes. to me is beyond a mere election. Right. The reality Absolutely. is that as human life is being yes. devalued in Flint, uh, Michigan, what are you really going to do That's about right. the infrastructure? Right. Moving in a timely fashion to replace those uh, pipes that leach right. lead into the water. Right. What are you going to do about children who've been lead poisoned that have behavior issues? We've seen several million dollars in the last 48 hours allocated toward that end. But the reality is that the Flint people, in Flint, Michigan, the people are a long way from being made well, home. I, I just read something. They just sort of established sort of a health authority to test Flint. That's what I was just saying. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Absolutely. And the thing about it, you're absolutely correct, Sam, that one, we need not just get caught up and make sure that we get past 218. This is about the lifestyle of people in Flint for the long term and not one candidate so what, what has in a platform so about what they're going to do. So what Democrats are doing is just a Hillary playbook here. That's what that's what we're playing here. Hillary was safe. She was a safe choice. She wouldn't go out and, and do a lot of things. I mean, in fact, I remember writing columns even when the welfare reform happened and back in 1994. You know, there was the 20th anniversary of the welfare reform. When she ran in 2016, I thought she was going to do a full court press conference and talk about the, you know, the uh, poor people who have suffered under, you know, I mean, I just don't get it. I, so I, 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 I get it. I get it. They built the misery of Flint for photo ops. Look, it only flew into Flint. And the mayor speak at the Democratic Party convention. Right. But nothing has changed the impact the people of Flint in their, their day to day lives. Hillary Clinton could have pulled the Jimmy Carter. You know, he lost an election right. and started building homes That's for poor right. people. Right. Habitat yeah. for yeah. humanity. No doubt. Hillary, and then the Carter Center, Hillary, 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 Hillary Clinton could have Hillary Clinton, yeah. Hillary Clinton, if she wanted a photo op, could have showed up in Flint and put a shovel in the ground with her foot and said, let's put some pipe yeah, in. Want she could have showed up. And that would not happen for a woman who right. says she's never driven a car in 20 years. Right. And, no. I, and, I, and I want to go back if we're going to talk about the leadership. We need to talk right. about it. We need to talk about Mayor Weaver. She has to get stronger and fight a little harder. That's just my opinion. And she needs people to be there with her to make that fight. She cannot be in that position and not allow this to happen. Cannot be in that position to allow this to happen. And I know that's a tough one to take, but you know, we got to call it. She's in that position. She got to fight for those folks. Just has to. What, and, what is Brandon Dillon going to do? That's what I want to know. Yes. Well, Brandon Dillon, chairman of the Democratic Party, is going to issue a few wolf tickets and do nothing. You know, these guys keep supporting managers of a losing team. The Democratic Party, again, lost Michigan to Donald Trump. The whole crew should have been replaced in man. But, but, you know, I, I, now, I, I, but I, I said this, though, right? And, and there's the legacy did not come in. But I said, if, I said that if Flint had happened under a Democratic administration, mm -hmm. and that Democratic government issues a statement or an action indicating that there will be no more free bottled water. 
you will hear from the head of the Michigan Republican Party. We stand with working families. We're going to stand with the people of Flint. In fact, they'll be in Flint. This is why you need to elect a Republican governor, because we're going to get in and clean house, and we're going to make sure that people of Flint are, you know. Well, that's what you will well, see. You, you, you well, just, I didn't get an email from Bradley Dillon. No. Maybe someone got an email. Hey, man, I, I, think, I think I saw but, a retweet. But even, right, even that, but that. doesn't that, deserve a full statement from the party, though, right? right. Of course. <laughs> but you, at Bentley, you make a good point. But also, just think about it. The Flint was different. You just said to Sam earlier, if they had a higher income, higher education yeah. level, and if they didn't look like me, I'm telling you, they would be a different. They oh, would no. not, they would not, we would not have this discussion about bottled water. We would be having a discussion about how they're going to filter the water, yeah, but change the pipes. That would have been done a long time ago. But even, even if that had happened in, in, a, in a community that was so well to do, uh, the next day there'll be a response with the governor making that kind of statement. There'll be a response from any of the major candidates. 